Hi everyone. Well, it looks like we've got a first light. The Rasa is ready to go. That's its home position now, so I can get in and out without battering my head. The dome is open. It's a nice clear sky. Nikki's got her scope set up, ready to go on the AZ86. But sadly, we got that. It's about 80 percent so not a great great um night to do broadband but there we go it's a bit of a mishmash of wires i'm afraid it's as good as it's gonna get so we shall see how we get on This is, a, this is a second night out with the CG Pro. I mean, it's not ideal to shoot galaxies with a moon about, but I thought I'd give it a try. Um, it's been quite steady at about 0.2 for most of the night, 0.27, which I think is pretty good. It's been guiding well, so I'm not expecting the the resulting image to be amazing but it's it's a test anyway so it's a good test for it um but so far quite happy with it although tonight the gremlin struck again we've had a nightmare of a night we've had a pe we've got a pegasus power bottle dust box that's gone down uh, for some reason i'll have an email with pegasus to see what they say well, that's the second night done, only a couple of hours. Um, had gremlins and that, but we managed to keep going. Um, tonight's guiding is a bit better than last night, so maybe it was seeing or something, I don't know. The polar line was still the same, but we did have some issues to begin with. It took me a while to get going, so. But with, with, with the. Um, moon as bright as it is, I mean, galaxies, it's not going to be great, it's not going to be a great image, but it's just a first light with it, really, so, and so far, it's, it's performed quite well, so I'm going to shut the dome up now, because I am freezing, and I'm going to go to bed, so we shall continue later. I thought I'd give a uh, rundown on the, the uh, imaging run we had on Sunday night and Monday night um, we did have some gremlins the I have a USB fail on here which I don't know why because I connected everything up everything's working fine it was on to the guide camera here and I bought like the Lindy USB cables they're supposed to be really good and it's failed even though you plugged it into the PC It'll make the ping that's it recognised it, but going to connect through PhD, couldn't see a camera. I tried the QHY uh, 5L camera I've got, it's another guide camera. Uh, no, nope, didn't want to know. So I thought, what's wrong with it? Why is it not seeing that? So I thought, just change, try a different cable, try a different cable, ping, there it was. So got it working. Um, also setting up Nikki's scope on my AZEQ6 out here. We had some more cable issues, some cables were failing on that, and I thought, what's going on? Finally got it going. Got it running the first night. She, I think she had to go M101. Um, finally got it running. First night, it was okay. Well, I remember we were both mumbling a lot. <laughs> Well, be, I'll be honest, we're both mumbling and chuntering away like you know, cause things weren't working, but we got it going. Now, if anybody remember that watched the last video, I was, I was on about the hack I've done with the um, Pole Master. 
I'll actually put it. I'll put it on here, just so I can get the pearl armor. Work to treat. Absolutely perfect. Perfect pearl armor, and with this man having such, yeah, large. Well, I wouldn't even call them thumb screws. They're large knobs. I mean, the one for the um, altitude, bigger than these, bigger on the, than on the counterweights. Massive. But it just made made it so smooth in the axis, in both axes. Um, so I've done it, adjusted it. I went through like the pole mail, like the routine of the pole mail. So when I went, I think you press the match screen button you press to get it precise. The crosses, crosshairs were already aligned. It was perfect. I didn't have to touch it. I was like, it's done, that's it. So, and I tried it out. And yeah, it was absolutely brilliant. Um, absolutely faultless. Could, couldn't argue with it. Second night, I was having issues again. Uh, well, there's <laughs> a story for this. Um, Nikki set up the ring with her scope on outside the observatory, ready to do a second night's imaging. And. The Pegasus power box. I mean, I'm not a little long. It was connecting, disconnecting, connecting, disconnecting. Um, I mean, we both use a regular, both using a regulated power supply, so it's it not the power supply. Um, and it just, and it just stopped working. Nothing had worked. Nothing had connecting yet. I mean, the LED was on, but nothing was working. Um, looking on the computer, it's saying unrecognised device. Was on. I've contacted Pegasus Astro and we're going to take and we're going to send it back and they're going to have a look at it. So I don't think it's anything we've done, but if if it is, it is. But the power box on here is still working just fine. So I don't know. It's a, it's a strange one, very strange one. So we shall see what they say. Um, so obviously Nikki couldn't do any um, imaging. We had a power cut, so everything went off, so I had to reset the mount, <laughs> turn everything on, reconnect, make sure everything worked. Oh, so, yeah, it took me about an hour to get this thing up and running, which is not ideal, you know. I'm usually, I'm getting running in about 10 minutes, if it's clear, just over the roof, and away you go. But, um, but I did uh, target M51, I mean, it's galaxy season now. Yes, they did. <laughs> The RAS was that 620mm focal length, I haven't really got the reach, but I thought I'd give it a go. Ah, I've got it, it's all right, but I've, I think I've done the subs too long, because I've, I've, I think I've washed it out. I couldn't even get the colour, can't even get any colour from it, but there is detail, so you know, it's not, it's not the best image in the world, but it's an image. Um, I've still got sense to tilt. I've got to sort that out, I don't know how to sort that out yet. But uh, I'm not that bothered by it, to be fair. But we'll see. We'll see what we can do. But other than that, the mount performed brilliantly. When I got it working, it performed brilliantly. Um, first night, the guiding was between 0 0.3 0 0.1 and 0.1 arc seconds. Second night, it was, it was just hovering around 0.2 for most of the session. Um, so you can't argue with that. So I'm, I'm now glad I've got it, <laughs> got this thing running. Um, so I'm, I honestly didn't know what to do with it. I thought, I actually thought about chucking it in the shed or just selling bits off it and chucking the rest, you know, and it was just taking up so much space. But now it's running. Yeah, I'm pleased, very pleased so far. Um, I will do a run go on my likes and dislikes for the mount at a later date. Um, but first, I'm going to take the camera off the off the uh, scope because we have because we're on holiday. So hopefully, I might get to do some more galaxy shoot another galaxy um, over the holiday. We shall see. Using my old friend, <laughs> I've not imaged with for a long time, but I'm obviously going to use that camera because I've only got the one. So I'm going to take that off, cover up the cover up the rasa. Anyway. I hope you like the image um, and clear skies everyone.
over Nicky's tonight and uh, we were a few days off work so I thought I'd, I'd uh, do another image of M51 um, but uh, this scope I've not had I've not used this for a lot it's a long time so if there's no water folks I had to use a baton off mask and go old school but We'll see how it turns out. Although the moon is, for all intents and purposes, full. <laughs> so, it's never going to be a brilliant image, but I was actually thinking, was it a mistake to bring it? Thank you. 